All right, hello again. This is uh, number 11 uh, in our series of uh, healthcare calculations. Um, you might remember uh, from uh, 9 and 10 we looked at percentages. Um, we've got something slightly different here um, in that we've got something called ratios and it looks a bit horrifying because we've got a ratio of 1 uh, to 1,000. But don't be put off by that. Uh, let me just show you roughly how well, how I look at it. Um, before, as I say, when we were doing percentages, you know, just just imagine a sort of pot. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter what it is, uh, and, and just imagine there's a, there's a hundred mils of something in there, a jam jar, if you like, and dissolved in that is uh, one gram of something. Again, it could be sugar, dextrose, something like that. Um, and so we said that this was the same as saying one gram per 100 mil. So for every 100 mil, there's one gram. And so we said, we, we put it out roughly like this, one gram per 100. But because 100 also means percent, 100 cents in a dollar, um, we could describe it or write it like that, one per cent, one per 100. It's the same thing. And another way of looking at it uh, is doing it in ratio form, one in a hundred. So that's all that ratio means, uh, one per hundred, one in a hundred, one percent. It's all the same thing. Now, if you've got a slightly bigger pot, bigger jam jar, uh, and say that had a thousand mils in it, uh, and that had one gram, there it is, one gram. Uh, we could then say that instead of one to a hundred, this was a ratio of one to a thousand. One percent, you could say one per mil if you like, but generally we put it in a ratio form like that. Now, you know what I'm going to say, if we had an even bigger pot, um, and say we had 10,000 mils in that with our one gram, then guess what the ratio would be? One to uh, 10,000, like that. Uh, you also might think that looking at these figures, uh, our solution uh, is getting much more dilute. That's only one gram in 100, and this is one gram uh, in 10,000, so much more dilute. The other thing to watch out for, um, and we can use this when we do our calculation, um, is that yes this is one gram here one gram in a thousand but sometimes to make an even more dilute solution you might have milligrams so let's say I don't know let's say five five milligrams uh, and as you know uh, uh, if you've got five milligrams you'd have to convert that back to grams uh, so you've got like for like in in your calculation so we know that five divided by um, a thousand will bring us back to uh, grams. Five divided by a thousand. You can move the decimal point back three times if you like, but then you're introducing more trouble. Uh, you've got 0 0.005. Um, so I'd better leave that in our little sum. Um, uh, and, and, and you'll find when we do that, it's much easier to sort of cancel out later on. So again, this would be five, if it was five milligrams, this would be five over a thousand, and the same uh, for over here. It's just converting those grams back to milligrams so that we get like for like. All right, let's have a go at this um, question here. Um, the dose, or what's been ordered, is 0 0.5 milligrams. So straight away, we've got milligrams. Uh, and we've got a ratio down here of one to a thousand. Remember that's one gram in a thousand mils. But don't worry, we can set the whole thing out exactly uh, in the way that you're used to. I think uh, what's what's ordered uh, or what do they need, if you like, uh, 0.5 milligrams. What have I got? I've got one gram. What's it in? It's in a thousand. So it's the same old format that we've had before, uh, and you might remember um, this was NH2. 
S. Need have a solution. But don't forget that this was 0.5 milligrams. So we have to divide that, and we can do it by just adding on a multiplication uh, sign there. We can divide that by a thousand. As I say, you can go back with your with the decimal point, but that just um, makes it makes it more difficult. <laughs> Um, keep that in the equation, the division by a thousand to take the grams, um, uh, sorry, take the milligrams to grams. So we're all in the same suit, as it were. And you might be able to see, remember, you can cross out or cancel down sideways. Our calculation actually becomes quite easy because those two, one on the bottom and one on the top, those two can cancel out. And if we did our multiplication on the top, as we normally do, we've got one times. 0.5 gives you, guess what, 0.5, and 1 times 1 gives you 1, and 1 into 0.5 will finally give us our answer. Uh, 0.5 what after all that? Well, it's a volume, isn't it? So it's going to be uh, in mils. Now, that was all very straightforward. Now, wasn't it?